What's going on? Hope you're doing well. This is Magic Mitch, the food adventurer, bringing you another food challenge video. And in this one, I am ecstatic because in this video, this first video, it is the official start to this food challenge tour as I travel across the UK and Europe with the big man himself, Randy Santel. And this will be the longest food challenge tour I've ever embarked on, doing about 30 to 40 food challenges over a 70 day or so period, which is absolutely nuts. And first up is this triple burrito challenge at Taco Mazama's in Central Station in Glasgow, Scotland. Now for this challenge, it's pretty straightforward. You just have to finish the triple burrito, which is filled with rice, beans, meat, lettuce, and I guess with the meat, I don't remember exactly what I went with, but since it was my first battle of the trip, I probably just asked Randy what was the easiest since he was a previous winner. Anyways, there's also some jalapenos, which I really hope those weren't gonna be an issue in this case. But then with that, there was also some salsa and sour cream. Now the kicker with this challenge is that you only have 10 minutes to finish the entire burrito. So I was starting to question myself and wondering if I'd be able to start this trip off with a winning note and take down this large burrito and maybe even become the first person to do post-challenge push-ups after. And if that was the case, I would get my 15 British pound meal for free, which just as a side note, for these challenges moving forward on this tour, I'm just going to use the currency in which the challenge is located. Then with that you also get a free shirt and your picture up on the wall of fame and as a bonus if you do have the fastest time you get 50% off anything you order at the restaurant as long as you hold that record which I am a big fan of I think that's pretty neat. And speaking of records I do believe Randy Santel holds that with a finishing time of 2 minutes and 33 seconds which is absolutely impressive. Now was I going to shoot for that? Absolutely not. <laughs> I just wanted to start this trip on a good note, wanted to get around 3-4 to four minutes, but actually once I knew the burrito broke in the middle, which is something that happened before I even started, I knew that wasn't going to be possible unless I tapped into the dark arts to get a little down and dirty. Which you should know by this point, I'm not about that life, so I would need a little more time to use my big utensils, just so I could clean up any leftover burrito. I'd also use my mighty big spoon to take down some of that filling in the beginning, then try to eat the burrito as is from one side to another and just handle that burrito with care. A little finesse if you will, softly. Might even say a little tenderness, just so it doesn't break apart. But of course, generally speaking, just wanted to keep things clean as possible. Now since this burrito challenge does have the gold standard, which is the free meal, the free shirt, and your picture up on the wall of fame, of course I'm going to give this thing a thumbs up. It's definitely a speed challenge though, there's no doubt about that. Though I do think there is enough time for the amount of food, especially since the restaurant isn't just trying to kill you on adding an excessive amount of ingredients on this one. Plus, the bonus reward is nice if you're local, especially with this challenge being located at a train station, you know. If you got some time between two trains, you can just pop in, get some good food at a great deal, and then be on your way. And for the taste, again I'm giving this one a thumbs up, it was just a solid burrito. Also, I wanted to mention that I was very happy this was a dry burrito just because there was less time being clean and even though I was shoving this thing down at an accelerated pace, I was still able to taste it and I thought it tasted great. I would definitely recommend eating here and I for sure wouldn't mind eating there again. And if you made it this far into the video, I would love it if you took a few seconds out of your day to leave a little magic of your own by liking and commenting down below. And if you want to see more food adventure videos and follow along with me on this tour, then be sure to subscribe so you never miss a video. And I'll see you in the next food adventure.